Okay, now this says consider the following regression model. So you are given B W I hat hat just represents the sample, um, and uh, you know hat just represents that this is the expected value. And it is, uh, you know, without the error term. So you have this part as the estimated part, right? Is equal to 119.77 minus 0 0.514 CIGS. And you are given that BW represents the infant birth rate, right? It should be, sorry, this is incorrectly written, beta. This is not infant birth rate. This is infant birth weight. So, BW represents the infant birth weight and CIGS, it represents the uh, number of cigarettes mother smoked per day during her pregnancy, right? Now, first of all, this is saying interpret the regression results. So, whenever you need to interpret the regression result, you need to interpret two things, right? The first thing that you need to interpret, that is going to be the intercept term, right? And the second thing that you will be interpreting would be the slope, slope term, right? So let's begin by interpreting the intercept term. That means I need to interpret 119.77. So in order to go ahead and in order to interpret that, you will always go ahead and put the other, um, you know, the, the x term equal to zero. So here you will plug in zero and you will get bwi hat is equal to 119.77 minus 0.514 into 0 and this will be 119.77. So what does this go ahead and what does this mean? It means that when the mother smokes 0 cigarettes per day, then the average infant birth weight will be 119.77 ounces, right? So we can go ahead and we can write like this that when mother smokes zero cigarettes per day, the average weight of infant would be 119.77 ounce. Right. Achha. Now see that the second thing that is to be understood is this negative sign. The negative sign shows that there is an inverse relationship between birth weight and the number of cigarettes smoked. So as the number of cigarettes smoked increases, the birth weight of the infant decreases. Right. So what I can go ahead and do therefore is I can draw a downward sloping line. It will be a line because it's a linear relationship. And here I will have 119.77 and this will be my birth weight when zero cigarettes are smoked. And then I will have a downward sloping line and the slope of this line, if I find out what is dBW by dCi, this is minus 0.514. So I can go ahead and I can say that the slope will be negative and this will be 0 0.51. Right. Okay. Then you need to go ahead and interpret this 0 0.514 with a negative sign. So you will say that when the mother increases consumption of cigarette by one unit on an average, the weight, birth weight of infant falls by 0 0.514 units. It falls by 0 0.514 units. Right, beta? So, this is your option number, uh, answer to question number A. Okay, now this says, what is the predicted weight when cigarette smoked is 10, cigarette smoked is 20? Comment on the difference. So, you will go ahead and in the same equation, put 10 first, right? So, in this equation, instead of cigarette, you will put 10. Then in the same equation, instead of cigarette, you will put 20. So, just see here. If this is my birth weight equation and instead of cigarettes, I'm going to go ahead and plug in 10 here. So, when I plug in 10 here, I will get the birth weight as 114.63 ounces. Right. Then I will go ahead and I will plug in 20. So, my equation was 119.77 minus 0 0.5. 
one four uh, cigarettes, right? And this was my birth weight, right? So what I will go ahead and I will do is instead of cigarettes, I will go ahead and I will plug in 10. And instead of cigarettes, I will go ahead and I will plug in 20. Am I clear with that part? Okay. Now, when you will plug in 10, you will find the answer as 114.63. And when you will plug in 20, you will get the answer as 109.49. You will get the answer as 109.49. So now this says find the difference in the birth weight and then comment on that difference. So I try to find out the difference in the birth weight. So this is 114.63 minus 109.49. And when you find the difference, you will get this as coming as 5.14. You will find this as 5.14. So 5.14 can be rewritten as 10 into 0 0.514. And 0 0.514 was nothing but the slope, right? Slope coefficient. And 10 is nothing but the gap in the cigarettes. So this was the, so this was the number of, uh, this was the weight when 10 cigarettes were smoked. And this was the weight when 20 cigarettes were smoked. So it was nothing but the gap in the number of cigarettes smoked, right? That is 10. Achha, just think about it, huh? This is the weight when 10 cigarettes were smoked. And this is the average weight when 20 cigarettes are smoked. So I am doing 10 minus 20. Remember that I am doing 10 minus 20, right? So I can go ahead and say that there should be a decrease in the birth weight. There is a decrease in birth weight by this many units. By this many units, the birth weight is falling. When the number of cigarettes are increasing from 10 to 20, and decrease in birth weight can simply be said as change in the number of cigarettes into the slope coefficient, right? So you can just go ahead and find this out that the change in birth weight will be nothing but B2 into the change in the number of cigarettes. Am I clear with that? Okay, beta. Thank you.